It's okay to drool when looking at this, just clean it up afterwards. It's one of the most beautiful cars ever created and a really fine collectible die-cast version of it, the 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO, which has seen some wear and tear throughout the years, just ignore the license plate peeling off. This is from B. Borrego, or however you pronounce that, a 124th scale car, which is almost as awesome as the real thing. Well, about 124th as awesome as the real thing. As you can see, this car has already been in an accident, so some of the paint was chipped off. If you did that on the real 250 GTO, well, let's just say you wouldn't want to do that. Hey, look, the door's open, as you would expect on a car like this. It's not the General Lee, after all. Man, how awesome would the Dukes of Hazard be if they drove a Ferrari 250 GTO? Uh, well, probably no more awesome than it is with the orange Dodge Charger, but it, sh it certainly would have given the Duke boys a lot more class. I said class, not ass. They got plenty of that. Yeah, I'm recording on a Friday if you haven't figured it out by now. Just look at the detail on this car. It's incredible. As you probably noticed, it has real rubber tires, great looking wheels. It steers with the steering wheel. And there's even a lot of attention to detail on the underside. It's just a really nice collectible car that looks like someone took a shrink ray to the real thing. I mean, that's why you buy a 124th scale model. It's not really a car to play with unless you're playing 124th scale James Bond and you really need some high class cars. So who would win in a race? This car versus the General Lee versus Jazz from the Transformers. Probably Jazz, but this car looks really amazing. It has even more detail than the old school Jazz Transformer, but sadly it does not transform into anything. It just sits there looking good, but you can also roll it around and have fun with it if you want. And look at the engine detail. Uh, just, just incredible. I can't say anything that you don't see with your eyes right now. This car is getting a 10 out of 10. Even with these slightly misaligned and peeling stickers, it's, uh, it's an older car. I, I'm not sure how old. My dad actually got me this one not too long ago. He thought I would enjoy it, and I do. Because when the Decepticons start to put the smack down, you can just run into them with an expensive Ferrari 250 GTO.